Hello everyone, welcome back to another studio vlog. So last week I did a little break from studio vlogging um, and I did uh, instead a tutorial of how I do my notebooks. It was a super complete tutorial and I just want to say thank you for all the love and comments on that video. It really mean the world because yeah, I put a lot of effort into it. So yeah, it makes me really happy that it helped and that you enjoyed it. So I just wanted to say thank you. And the last time we spoke, I had some problems with my sublimation printer. If you've seen that video, I'm going to leave it on the cards somewhere on the screen as well. Uh, basically, I ordered sublimation ink from Amazon and it ended up not being sublimation ink. So the printer won't, wouldn't work with sublimation ink and I got some news. So after that video, a lot of you contacted me and told me that, that you had the same problem um, and that you end up being successful in, in taking the ink out. But I was having some problems because I couldn't uh, access the um, printer's head, head um, because the printer would open uh, from like the top. I'll explain it a little bit. You guys gave me some hope so I end up watching some videos I end up uh, contacting a Portuguese company like they fix printers and stuff like that and they send me like a very detailed uh, email explaining what I had to do and everything huge news after a lot of hours trying to fix it I did it <laughs> I was able to fix it, I was able to take all the normal ink out and clean it and put the sublimation ink. I did it that um, yesterday, it took me like a lot of hours, but I did it. I didn't film it because it was super nerve-wracking, I could basically like ruin the printer and it could stop working basically because of mixing the ink but I was able to take some stories for my patrons, uh, some exclusive stories on Instagram and I'll insert them over here for you to check them. It was a lot of work, I basically had to like open the printer, take the ink out uh, with syringes and stuff like that, I'll show you in a little bit, so it was a lot of work and super nerve-wracking and yeah the printer when once I end up like filling with sublimation inks wasn't printing black then wasn't printing color so it was a big mess but it eventually worked and I'm so so happy and relieved that I didn't broke the printer and now it's working so yeah this vlog will be full-on like trying stuff out and trying new products and try to see to see how they work First of all, let me do a little brief explanation of how I did it. This is the printer that I got. This is a regular EcoTank. I got the ET2711. Um, basically, to do sublimation, you need special ink, and that was the problem because I've put normal um, inkjet uh, ink, and now it has sublimation ink. And what I was talking about, about not being able to open the printer on the top, is I can only open it like this. So I had to take these screws out over here and over here so that I could open the printer like this. Then once that was open, I need to be very careful because this doesn't block. So I had to put something to keep the printer uh, open and this basically uh, came out out of place. It was a mess. But do you see those things over here that look like the normal ink cartridges? So I had to take all of this out. They come out like normal ink cartridges, just like put, uh, push this and they come out. Then I had to take all of this out. I had to take these little tubes out of the place. And then with syringes, I had to take out the ink, like I would pull with the syringes and the ink that was here uh, would come out of these little tubes. Then I also had to clean inside of these ones. I used a um, cleaning solution that I bought from a Portuguese company. I would insert the cleaning solution over here uh, and then pull 
the solution the cleaning solution from the tubes as well and then only after all of that and that was a couple of hours and it was very hard <laughs> to do that and then only after that i could all could put the sublimation ink i would have to uh, pull it again from the tubes so that the sublimation ink would be inside the tubes and inside the printer and then i also had to pull it from the ink cartridges, so the sublimation ink will be inside of the ink cartridges. Just let me take this one out so I can explain. So the ink is here, so I had to pull from here for the ink to be inside of here and from the tubes for the ink to be inside the tubes as well. This is the cleaning solution that I used with syringes. I inserted inside of the tanks over here and pull out of the tubes with syringes yeah it was a lot of work so now the printer finally have sublimation ink um, and yesterday when i started to print like the issue was that the ink was still not inside the cartridges that i showed you so i had to open the printer again and suck the ink inside the cartridges um, with a syringe again because i was doing print head cleans and nozzle checks and the ink wasn't coming out so yeah, it was a mess, but I managed to do it all by myself and I'm really proud of it. <laughs> and I managed not to broke the printer, which I'm super, super happy. And yeah, it finally worked. So let me show you the two experiments that I did yesterday with the first test print that came out okay. <laughs> So this was the first one that I did. It's super out of center, but yeah, I was so, so happy that it worked. And this was the second try. I still need to solve this part. I think I'm going to glue them on the back, but they are not going to be this size. They are going to be a little bit bigger. Uh, I mentioned that I wanted to do like uh, pin displays and this was like the first tryout and I'm so, so, so happy with it. In the meanwhile, I already got uh, a lot of sublimation blacks for the past two weeks and I may have developed uh, an addiction of buying sublimation blanks <laughs> because basically the possibilities are endless and <laughs> I just want to try everything. Let me show you all the things that <laughs> I bought to try out. So the first thing I got, it was coasters. I bought these ones that are like wood, um, like MDF or something like that. And others that are like cardboard, just to try it out because these are way more um, light. So for shipping, they'll be less expensive, but I just want to try them out to see how they work. I bought phone cases just to try it out. This is a big investment, but I just wanted to check how they would look. Then I got um, cleaning cloths like for glasses and everything and I think this is going to be look super super cute. I also got mouse pads, puzzles to try it out, which this is one of the things that I'm most excited about. And let me show you the product that I'm most excited about. Okay, are you ready? It sucks. I'm so, so excited. I can't even tell you how excited I am. Once I found out that I could do socks with sublimation, that was when I made the decision <laughs> to take the leap and make this big investment in my business. Can't wait to try them out. Um, this is what we are going to try out today. I can't wait to try it out just to see how it looks. They are so, so soft and nice. So yeah i'm going to start working on the design and then we are going to learn how to sublimate socks so wish me luck i'm so so excited and i hope you're excited about this product i've been keeping this a secret for so long for at least two months only my patrons knew about this so i'm so so happy to finally tell you and yeah let's try it out and see how they look Ah, I'm so excited. Let's go. Let's make some designs.
So I've been watching this studio vlog from Polygon Illustrations. If you don't know her channel, I'm going to leave it in the description for you to check it out. She has some amazing studio vlogs and she does one where she sublimates socks. Um, so I've been trying to take some tips uh, from it. And this is the pattern that I created for the socks. I'm not sure if this is going to work, but yeah, let's try it out and see how it works. Probably the first try will be a major fail, but yeah, let's try it out. It's looking nice. Yeah, you can't even see like the background, so I think I'm going to try for a little longer. So I'm going to print it again so I can press on the other side. So this was the first try with the first first press. As you can see, like the um, the colors are really light and like greenish. I don't know if it's I'm taking I'm putting it too long or than I'm supposed to. Um, in here, I left it for a longer time, um, but the problem it's still the same. I think I don't know why the black is going greenish but yeah on this one it the colors are a little better the image is totally blurry because i press it two times just to see if the colors will be better or not but yeah let's keep practicing <laughs> This one was the first try and this one was the last one but let me show you them all and as you can see the designs I still need to change them they weren't supposed to be like a pattern in there they were supposed to be like um, like only background so that this little guy uh, so that this doesn't happen but yeah let me show you but I'm super super happy like I mean what the hell? I have my designs on my feet and that's so cool. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so this was the first try that I already showed you before. As you can see, like the 
uh, black is turning green and I did some research and it's from the color profile that you might be using so I started to try out with other color profiles that I have uh, and others that I downloaded then this happened <laughs> So um, I was trying out with like different temperatures and different timings and yeah, I've put too much heat and too much time and it's basically like it broke the whole sock basically. This is just a mess. It's straight to the trash um, because yeah, I can't even wear this. The paper doesn't come out. It's just a mess basically. Um, but yeah, you live and learn. <laughs> Um, what a mess, but yeah, then I um, wanted to try this color profile again because in here you can basically see anything how it works and this was the result like I'm super super happy with the colors of the little animals it's just the background as you can see in here the colors are not good they are too like uh, vivid or something like that um, but in here um, here the background it's like pink and in here it was coming a little like beige yellow um, so yeah I don't know about that and as you can see over here I put the eating tape on top and there's a lot of faults and this moved so it has like ghosting and everything and then I tried this one uh, the colors are still not perfect I still need to play around with saturation and everything but in here the colors are a lot better I'm getting somewhere and I'm quite happy with it um, I just need to keep experimenting so the thing I need to solve now it's like this mark um, where the two folds meet I also want to try with a um, thinner jig this is called a sock jig um, and I want to try with a thinner one because maybe that line won't be so prominent but yeah still a lot to try but I'm super super happy with the first ones and I can't wait to see the product all together and now I need to work like on the branding as well and how I want to package them but yeah I'm so so happy you probably noticed that in one time um, I did like a little time lapse and I was using this mask because um, my press it was releasing like a really strong smell uh, um, and I went and researched that it's normal um, for the first try that you like eat it and everything but yeah the strong the smell was super super strong and I'm sure it's not healthy so I was using this one um, and it starts to rain so I had to close the, the window behind me I now left it to like heat for 20 minutes, half an hour just to get rid of the smell so hopefully next time I press something that doesn't happen I think now I'm going to print one more design just to try it out to see how it works and how it looks because I'm basically just doing tests when, uh, with only one design so I thought it would be fun to also show you other designs and also do a little test in another material or something like that it's a lot of time uh, every time you change so basically <laughs> For anyone who's watching this and have no idea what is sublimation, so I can't explain it very well, but it's a special technique, you have to use special inks um, and once those and a special paper as well, and once those inks um, um, are heated up they become a gas and that can adhere to certain materials like polyester fabric and certain kinds of plastics and mugs and stuff like that so everything you use must be special for sublimation all the inks all the papers and also all the materials that you are using so when you are experimenting you lose a lot of materials as well as it happened today 
uh, because you'll have to try with different colors, with different settings and also with different timings and uh, temperatures. So that's why it's always such a big mess. Uh, yeah, that was a very brief explanation and I'm sure I didn't explain it correctly. If some of you know a better way to explain it, please leave it in the comments. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. That's why I had so many problems because yeah, I have to use special everything and special inks and special paper and all that kind of stuff mm. so yeah i think now i'm going to print another design just to try it out and to see how it works so yeah let's try that quite happy with it. I thought this could go a lot wrong uh, on the first day than it was today, so I'm seeing this as a successful um, tryout. Now I just want to print all the patterns. <laughs> that sucks. Um, and I think the smell is coming from the sublimation paper, so sublimation people, if you have any tips for the smell, let me know, please. But yeah, now let's try to do a mouse mat or a mouse pad. I don't know. Total rookie mistake, I forgot to mirror the image, so her face looks a little weird right now. <laughs> but yeah, it still looks super super cool and I'm in need of a mouse mat, so I'll just keep this one for myself and I'm just amazed because the possibilities are endless and yeah, it's really really cool. Um, as you can see, like the colors are not right. This is a little too greenish, like the yellows and everything. I think for different products, I'll just have to use like different color settings and stuff like that because the materials are different. But yeah, I really, really like it. And here are the tryouts of yesterday and today. I'm super, super happy with this uh, plain display. Yes, these ones were the ones that you saw on my feet earlier. <laughs> I just want to do more socks and I think it's just such a nice product and I'm so, so excited. I'm going to be wearing these just to try it out to see if they are comfortable, but they are, even though they are polyester because you can only do sublimation in polyester. Um, they are super, super soft, so I really, really like them, but I'll try them out to see if they are comfortable or not because I don't want to sell something that it's not um, good or something. So I'm going to try them out myself. I'm going to say it was a super successful tryout. I enjoy making all the products and I think they are so, so cool. The only thing is the smell from the heat press. So if you have any tips on that, please do let me know. 
was the video for today i'm sorry if this week was a little bit different i basically uh, worked from home most of the week um so yeah i was basically doing patreon stuff i hope you still enjoyed this video it was more like a day in the life and not so much of my week but yeah i hope you still enjoyed it uh please do let me know what you think of the new products they still need a lot of improvements but at least everything is working now and i'm so so happy and so relieved like i'm glad that i could fix it it was a lot of work and nerve-wracking but i'm so so happy that i did it and i managed to solve that part and i can now do all kind of products and it's so so exciting like the possibilities are endless and yeah i'm just so so happy and yeah i'm going to end this studio vlog here really really hope you enjoyed it and please do let me know what you think about the new products and what you think it will be cool for me to do for the shop so yeah i'll talk to you guys very very soon have a nice week or weekend ahead and yeah talk to you soon bye guys bye